on the very first morning of this conference, um, Jeff asked this group how much we know about C++ 17, and it turned out there was still a lot to learn for everyone. So here goes a story about me learning something about C++. It goes back to one year ago at this conference. I had a talk with Gasper about this algorithm called, he, he called it for each pair. Basically, what it would do, it would uh, take each two consecutive uh, elements of a sequence and invoke a function with it. In this case, prints one, two, two, three, three, four, simple enough. A more realistic use case, this comes from my work. I optimize flight trajectories, so let's say if trajectory is a vector of coordinates, kind of simplified. Um, I want to calculate the length I could use for each pair and accumulate the result. I already said accumulate. You may realize this is the wrong algorithm. It's accumulate, so it would probably be accumulate pairs or something like that. But for the purpose of demonstration, let's try implement for each pair. And for those who have seen my previous lightning talks, you probably know already there's going to be something really silly on the next slide. I didn't want to disappoint you. Don't, right? Go to cppreference.com and copy paste the adjacent find reference implementation and do it, but not this way, right? And while I was still thinking about this for each pair algorithm, I realized why not do for each three? Because I want to count the right turns on my trajectory and I need three coordinates to say if something is a right turn or not, right? Again, wrong algorithm. This is a count if three for every three, whatever. Let's generalize it and say for each adjacent n. And I've already learned the right, the first thing about C++ now, just two hours ago, because this returns the wrong thing. Everyone, anyone know what it should return to? Exactly, it should return any function. I'm going to constrain it for n's greater than zero, kind of obvious. And then, since I'm trying to learn something about C++, I found this new feature in C++17 called stdapply. It takes a function and a tuple and invokes the function with all the el elements of the tuple, right? So if I can somehow pack n elements of the sequence starting at first into a tuple, I'm fine. And I'm pretty confident I can do it because there's this other very nice feature of C++17 called if const expert. If there's only one element that I request, then I just pack whatever is at first, and otherwise I can use the tuple cat and recurse. Packing one element has another use case of if const expert because whatever star it returns, I want to support it. Not only references, if it's a reference, I stick to the reference. If it's a proxy or something, I take a value type and pack that into a tuple. Now the code from the beginning looks like this, and it actually works just fine. Just now it's called for each adjacent two. It prints one, two, two, three, three, four. It works with for each adjacent three, does the right thing. Also works for each adjacent one. Doesn't sound really useful, but it does. Turns out though, um, I was telling you a story about learning something about C++ 17. I should have told you the story about learning something about C++ 14 first, because this can be done a whole lot easier with older language features. So here's version 2.0. Instead of calling std apply, I write my own apply. I pass it an integer sequence, which is a compile time sequence from 0 to n minus 1. And then I can just do a variating expansion over std next, and that's all there is to it. So, what have I, lear have I learned? I've learned that, yeah, the new features are nice, but they're not always the right thing to use. And talking about for each adjacent, there's all those other algorithms where I could follow the same principle. 
I could find if adjacent, I could count if adjacent. Thank you, time is over. I've already mentioned them in the examples before.